So, today I wanted to talk about probably one of the most useful skills that you can have for the rest of your life. And that is how to properly ask for help. Now, I know this sounds stupid, but you would be surprised how many extremely poorly written help requests I've seen before in the Unity forums, on the Unreal forums. Hell, when I was younger, I definitely made a lot of these mistakes too. But you have to understand that what this boils down to is you want people who know more than you to actually respond and give you useful information. And in order to maximize the chance of this happening, the first and the most important thing that you can do is try and binge as much information as you possibly can and do your own research first. Like if you're trying to learn how to make lava materials in Unreal 5, spend two hours just watching and reading all the things you can about lava materials. If you're lucky, you might actually find the answer to your own question, or you might at least learn some useful information that gets you closer to the answer. Because remember, if you are trying to make a lava material, but you don't even understand what materials are, what textures are, how the coordinate nodes work, or the panner nodes, then you're probably not gonna understand the answer even if someone gives it to you on a silver platter. You need to know enough about what you're asking so that when you actually get the answer, you can make sense of it. Never go to a help forum and then make a post that says something like, I need help with shaders, or I need help making materials, right? That statement is so vast and so general and demonstrates that you are so new to the subject that in order to give you the proper answer, we would basically have to give you an entire introduction course on what materials and shaders are before we can even give you the answer. Your request is probably going to get ignored. So do your research first. And once you have done that, the proper way to ask for help is to be very specific about your problem and what is happening compared to what you want. So let's say you're following a tutorial on how to make bullet holes, but while you're trying to follow along, you're not getting the same results as what the tutorial is showing. So in this case, a good way to ask for help would be, hello, I'm trying to learn how to make bullet holes. I'm following this tutorial here, but every time I get to one minute 36 seconds, my preview disappears and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Done. That really is all you need to say. Then from this point, add a screenshot or maybe some recording footage of what you're actually seeing because problems are much easier to see than to read. So many times if you just show us a screenshot, we'll probably be able to look into your settings and just be like, oh, you forgot to check this box. And I promise the shorter you make your request, the higher the chances that people will actually respond. So when it comes to asking for help, basically do your research, be concise, and include screenshots or footage of what exactly is going on. Now, let's talk about the proper way to respond when you actually get help. Rule number one, you have to be patient. Everyone here is a volunteer. No one is obligated to help you. So when people actually do, you should really appreciate it. And remember, they can't see anything from your computer in real time. So in many cases, the first recommendation they give might not actually work, but that's okay. Try their solution. If it doesn't work, screenshot, record it, and explain what's happening so they can get a better idea of what the problem might be and how it's evolving. Now, if you are lucky, then after three or four back and forths, you'll probably land on a solution. And I'm telling you, Common courtesy goes a long way. Even just saying something like, thank you, might be the reason why they might help you again in the future. And also, remember, it's always possible that after all the help, you might actually still not find a solution. And if this is the case, I recommend taking a few days break to do a lot more research, then come back to the problem later once you have more experience and information. And most importantly, be sure to show appreciation even if the guys who tried to help you don't solve the problem. And if someone can't help you, what you should never do is pester someone to respond to you. In my experience, it's always best to assume that if someone is not responding to you, it's either because they don't have time, they don't know the answer, or both. Demanding help from somebody after they've given you all the best advice they can is never productive and you should not do this. So just be considerate and appreciative of other people's time when they give it to you. Regardless, that's my advice for anyone looking to maximize the chances of getting useful information when you ask for it. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.